keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students welcome back students today we are going to continue with the chapter number 3 diversity in living things and their classification in the previous session we have already discussed about diversity and classification in plant today we are going to start with structure of a plant here you can see there is one plant plant structure can generally be divided into two parts the stem which grows above the ground and the root which grows below the ground surface the root stem and leaves are the main parts of the plant from time to time plants bear flowers for reproduction flowers are transformed into fruits fruits have seeds seeds give rise to a new plant now let us study all these five parts of the plant that is root stem leaf fruits and flowers in detail roots roots they absorb water and minerals from the soil and also hold the soil firmly and anchor the plant there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root here you can see the pictures of tap root as well as fibrous root in tap root there is one dominant central root over here you can see this is the dominant central root which is present in tap root all the other roots they are originating from this dominant central root whereas in fibrous root dominant central root is completely absent there are so many roots originating from the same point example of tap roots are carrot and beetroot example of fibrous roots are grass and onion now stem height shape and size of a plant depends upon the stem it gives support to other parts of the plant it spreads out branches to bear leaves flowers and fruits conducts water and minerals to different parts of the plant and it also performs the function of production and storage of food in some plants it has the function of reproduction leaf they are called the food factories of a plant they can carry out the process of photosynthesis a process by which they synthesize their food so plants make their food in the leaf it is also called to be the kitchen of the plant there are two types of leaf simple leaf and compound leaf as you can see in this picture this is the simple leaf whereas in compound leaf it has got many leaflets along with the simple leaf right so this is simple leaf and this is compound leaf let us see the examples of plants having simple leaf and compound leaf hibiscus it has simple leaves you can see there is there are single single leaves which are coming out from this branch 
whereas rose plant it has got compound leaves you can see over here this single branch is having many leaflets so these are compound leaves flower this is the most attractive part of the plant it is connected to the stem by a stalk which may be long or short a flower has a typical color and shape in plants flower is the functional unit concerned with the sexual reproduction of plant that you will learn in your higher standards fruits they have different shapes and contain one or more seeds look at this picture carefully this picture shows the world's largest flower its name is rafflesia arnoldi it is found in indonesia and the diameter of this flower is around 1 meter it is also an insectivorous plant which consumes insect to fulfill its food or nutritional requirement now observe these pictures it is the world's smallest flower its name is wolfia or it is also called duckweed it is an aquatic plant which is found floating on water it is not having roots and the diameter of this plant is only 0.5 mm it is too small you can see over here if you will take it on your finger look at the size so they are too small 0.5 mm is the diameter so it is the world's smallest flower so students this is all about this session in the next session we will start with diversity and classification in animals thank you